What's going on everybody, it's your boy Jay Rich, back to bring you your MLB props for June the 4th. If you tailed the core plays yesterday, you probably did pretty good. Jose Ramirez hit, Joey Votto hit a three-run bomb late to save us, and Mookie Betts stole a base again to go over. So three for three on the core plays, two days in a row. So I hope you guys are tapped in and playing these picks because you would be making some money. I talked about Paul Goldschmidt, who hit another bomb yesterday. He's in another very good spot today, so he'll be talked about. But today's list is very big and you know i don't play all the players but i want to show them all to you as potential options so let's get into that right now so if you see paul goldschmidt tommy fam starlin Marte, francisco lindor mitch garver bo bichette joey Votto, marcus semian cabrian hayes Corey seager <gasps> And Aaron Judge. So, starting from the top, Paul Goldschmidt. Matt Schwarmer is uh, going into his second start up for the Cubs. He's fine. You know, he's okay. Allowed two home runs in his first start. Up now against the hottest hitter in baseball, who is on a 25-game hit streak in Paul Goldschmidt. So, this pitch factor, I need, to, I need to say that it is not fully indicative of his performance. But going and looking at his underlying metrics, while he only had one earned run, he did allow two home runs and his first... FIP, his fielding independent pitching, was almost six. So he was not pitching particularly well, and overall, he can be had for sure. And as you can see, Goldschmidt still killing it. So 18-point projection, you know, a little bold for Goldschmidt, even as good as he is, but a massive edge, a line of only eight, and I will be playing him today. Now let's get to Tommy Pham. If he does start, right now he's not projected to start, but if he does start, he is in a great spot. I would wait to see lineups to make sure he's starting, but I did want to get this to you out early because there's a lot of day games today. Make sure he is starting, but Cincinnati, Washington, another great matchup. He's up against Eric Fed, who is not very good. He allows a ton of bombs. They're playing in the Great American Small Park, and as we've seen, yesterday i think there was six homers in that matchup yesterday soto hit a bomb cruz hit a bomb fam actually did hit a bomb yesterday and Votto hit a bomb so again lots of guys going deep in cincinnati yesterday we could see more of that today with fed on the mound so that's why you see three guys in fam and or two guys fam and Votto in this projection model popping like crazy because you have the park factor you have the pitch factor you have guys that are already playing hot and fam 13 over his last seven days only nine over his last 14 but he's really on a tear ever since he slapped jock peterson in the face maybe it was good for him maybe it was a little momentum maybe he had to get his frustration out but either way he's playing very well right now i'm just gonna tell you straight up I am not playing the Mets. Um, I, I like Walker Bueller. He did get roughed up. I do need to mention this. He did get roughed up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. They seem to just have his number overall. I don't think I'm willing to bet on the Mets to do the same. As you can see here, I didn't even mention the pitch factor for Goldschmidt. Like, pfft, 10, disgusting. Then you have Fam 2.4. Marte and Lindor, 4 apiece because, again, they are hitting fastballs pretty well. And Walker Bueller, in particularly, his fastball is getting hit very hard. You see these massive factors. But negatives across the board for the rest of the pitches, that's one of the reasons why I'm not all in. If he chooses to go, chooses to go off speed, they could be in trouble. We know Lindor coming off the minor injury. I believe he went 1 for 4 last night. Marte, I believe, went 0 for four so it's just they're not playing particularly well they were playing well before but in the last few games they've been struggling a little bit i'm not playing the mets today so let's get into marco gonzalez the starting pitcher for the seattle mariners as you can see every player with the line on prize picks on texas popped in the model because of that 1.29 pitch factor and overall the players have been playing pretty well so you see Semyon here popping in the model with 11.29 over his last seven and Corey Seager who's probably the hottest hitter and probably the best option as far as I'm concerned to take overall even though he's the lowest edge I think he's been the best hitter overall you see the 14.17 pitch or last seven last seven days he has been spectacular so far so I do like Corey Seager Aaron Judge four hits last night but let's dive into the stats a little bit of these guys because there's just so much to interpret i didn't even mention boba Bichette up against dylan bundy hits bundy relatively well one for three don't love it don't hate it but i want to show you guys the stats of some of these guys so we can kind of disseminate a little bit more information about what to expect of them overall as I mentioned, Paul Goldschmidt, clearly the hottest hitter. Like, it ain't even that close. 3.5 almost bases per game, over an RBI and a half per game. Aaron Judge now hitting at the top of the lineup. So he's not getting a ton of RBI opportunities, but getting a ton of hits. Had four hits yesterday, like I mentioned. So he, dude, is on fire. Hit a home run as well yesterday. Six homers apiece for both these guys over their last 14 days. 
Goldschmidt hitting six in 12 games, <laughs> Judge hitting six in 14. But overall, I mean, what can you say? So the two concerning guys are Votto and Fam because they're not getting a ton of hits per game. They're kind of doing it all with one shot, but they do hit in the middle of the order. There's plenty of opportunities for RBIs. And like I mentioned, Fed is not very good. So he's not a great, not a bad spot overall. Semyon, I don't love. He's doing these, he's getting his points mostly with the steals and scoring runs, which is fine, but he's not getting on base at a high enough clip. So you can see that over there, right? 250 on base, OPS of basically 0.5, isolated power of under zero. He's just not doing a ton. K rate is low, hard contact rate is low. So I just, I don't love what I'm seeing from Sammy. And he's hitting the ball in the air, which is fine, but he's not getting on base. His bad bit is 221, basically the same as his average. So is there going to be some regression there to where he's he goes up maybe a little bit it's a good matchup not a great matchup but he does actually see Gonzalez relatively well Seager to me is the one who's been the best so far you see the fantasy points per game at 8.58 but even still he's been playing really really well over the last seven and that's the more important part here he's just been on fire he's been getting a lot of RBIs a lot of runs he was struggling for a little bit but is playing much better you see only batting 231 over the last 14 days but like I mentioned recently, he's just going ballistic, home runs galore. You have the, I believe it's lefty-righty matchup with Marco Gonzalez and Corey Seager. Either way, though, he's just been the hotter hitter. He hits three, he hits 333 against Marco Gonzalez, which is good versus you see Marcus Semien hits 250, does have a homer and 28 at-bats up against Gonzalez. So a bit more of a sample size there, more reliable. As you can see, Mitch Garver also homered off Marco Gonzalez. So there is a lot of things to like for Texas. Maybe you want to do a Texas team total over. It's stackable, right? Depending on the matchup, you see Garver projected to, to be fourth, Semien projected to be first, and Seager bat just behind him. If it was my money, I'd probably pick Seager of the three. I think he's probably in the best spot. Garver does have a very low total at five and a half. So I'm not all in on him, but I think I'm fine with it. Bo Bichette is probably the most interesting one because he's been playing much better. You know, he struggled really early in the season. Now the Blue Jays are getting hot. He's going to be batting at near the top of the order, projected to be second right now. Usually he bats second or third or fourth, just depends on kind of how they're setting up the lineup. Sometimes Santiago Espinal does bat second. More recently, it's been Bo with Teoscar Hernandez back, who is also hitting well. Vlad hit a homer yesterday. Springer homered yesterday. So there's a lot of good things happening for the Blue Jays recently. And I think there is a world where they really do get out after Dylan Bundy. The game is in Toronto, so there's a lot of upside from a hitting perspective. It's not the biggest ballpark out there. We do see the ball fly out of Toronto a lot, so I'm fine with Bo. I don't know if he's a core play, but I do like him quite a bit, and I wanted to present all this information to you, so you have it. But yeah, you see Semi, and the other big issue for me is the pitch value. He's not hitting these pitches very well, in particular the fastball he has really struggled with. So I'm not all in on Semi in here, but you can see here with Judge, a 7. You see Marte and Lindor are hitting fastballs very well. I'm not necessarily all in on them, and obviously Goldschmidt very much in on Goldschmidt. Cabrian Hayes is a player that is going to play very well against Zach Davies, and Zach Davies has been getting hammered a little bit more recently. As you can see, you have a great pitch factor. You have a player who's extremely hot, averaging 15 points per game over his last seven days. I'd be willing to flex in Cabrian Hayes if for my money. I think he's in a great spot. So I wanted to kind of run you through all these guys a little bit all over the place, but all the information is there for you guys to kind of look over. I think for sure I want Goldschmidt. That, you know, I mean, I don't got to really say it. I want Goldschmidt every day. He's on a 25-game hit streak. I think it's a really good shot he goes over today. I think I'm willing to run the risk on Votto at six and a half. I don't think it's a crazy total. I think it's a really good shot he does go over. I kind of want Corey Seager, and I really want Aaron Judge. So, like, my core two would have to be Judge and Goldschmidt. Like, they're just in great spots. Bo Brisk, as you can see, the 4.4 factor, 1.05 in Yankee Stadium, and, of course, the 8.6 P-Val, all pointing towards overs. Even though there's no history there, you're taking two hitters that are very hot, have great matchups, and should smash. Like I mentioned, Judge also had four hits yesterday with a home run, so he should be due for another big game against a bad pitcher. I'd be willing to target Marco Gonzalez. I think he is very viable when it comes to allowing home runs and a lot of runs overall. For my money, it would probably be Corey Seager. I'm probably fading Semyon overall. I'm probably going to fade the Mets. I don't love the matchup. I don't know if I want to go after Garver, but being in the heart of the order does matter, right? And you do have that lower total, so there's something good to be said there. So let's just filter this out a little bit more, actually. Since we're here 
we're going to do greater than three. And the reason why is because I want players who are hitting in good matchups. So you can see here, this is kind of where I go to when I'm not really sure what to do. You look at Goldschmidt, you look at Judge still popping. You have Hayes who pops and I do like him. I think he's in a good spot against Davies and he's just been playing so well. And then of course the Mets who are in a good spot, but I, I think I'm fading them overall. And so I think for me, Again, I think I'm going Goldschmidt. I think I'm going Judge. I do like Votto. I think he's more flex viable than, than core play. I don't mind Bichette with how good the Jays have been. If I was going to give you a third, oh man, my if I had to pick a third, I'd probably go with Seager. I think Seager's probably in the best spot from a hitter perspective. I know the, the pitch value isn't quite there, but it's because he's playing much better like very recently. And so it hasn't quite caught up to him yet, but he will be there very, very soon. I think that Seager is probably one of the hottest hitters who just hasn't quite popped in the model yet because he still needs a couple more days of staying hot to where he'd get there. But he does pop today up against Marco Gonzalez. So I think if I had to pick a core three, it'd be Goldschmidt, Judge, and Seager. And some of these guys are flex viable. Like I mentioned, Fam is potential and I do like him. I do like Joey Votto a lot. Again, I think he's got a really good matchup up against Fed. I think the Cincinnati Reds in general have a really, really good matchup and we'll probably see a ton of runs and RBIs. I believe they're already favored. The over under on this game is like 10 runs. So there's a lot of run potential here. And from those guys batting in the heart of the order, there should be a lot of reasons to like them. I do like Texas as well. They look to be in a very good matchup up against Marco Gonzalez. So that's why all of them are popping in the model. I like Bichette, probably fading the Mets overall. So that's where my money's at. I think that's where I'm going to be at. So Goldschmidt, Judge, Seeger would be my core three. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you drop me a like if you like this video and subscribe for future content. I hope it wasn't too much information. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but that's just where my mind goes. I got to work through the data, talk through it with you guys. Ultimately come with the core three of Goldschmidt, Judge, and Seeger. And I'm willing to flex in, you know, a Bo Bichette, a Votto, a Fam if he plays, Cabrian Hayes. Those are kind of the guys I'm thinking of. I think if I had to rank them, I'd probably put the Cincinnati Reds. I'd probably put Votto first. I'd be willing to put Bichette in there because I think there'll be some runs there. Cabrian Hayes is fine. They are playing in Pittsburgh instead of Arizona, which is beneficial. And he bats early in the order. But overall, I think Goldschmidt, Judge, Seager are the three. Even though they have high totals, I really, really like them today. I think they're in great, great great spots as always if you tail give them hell and if we fail do not bail i'll be back tomorrow maybe it's a maybe i'm gonna be out so i may not drop plays i may put some stuff on twitter so make sure you follow me on twitter at your boy j rich and i will see you guys when i see you probably on monday i'm out peace